Hi, I'm Ron Hazelton. 20 years ago, the NFPA, AFSA, and NFSA founded the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition. One of the things we've learned over the past two decades is while there's a lot of compelling information to communicate about home fire sprinklers, nothing tells the story better than a demonstration. I'm a firm believer that a picture is worth a thousand words, and if that's the case, then what you're about to see is worth a million. Here are two virtually identical rooms, eight by eight feet, furnished with the same furniture and accessories. The only difference is that the room on the left is fitted with a single home fire sprinkler on the ceiling. We're going to set both of these rooms on fire, beginning with the one without the sprinkler. The fire is set by igniting newspaper in a trash can through a hole in the back wall. Within a few seconds, flames are visible in the trash container. Quickly, they ignite the curtain above. The fire climbs rapidly toward the ceiling. In less than a minute, the temperature rises to well over 500 degrees, and thick, dark smoke begins to accumulate. Already, the room is unsurvivable. At one and a half minutes, the fire continues to grow, rapidly engulfing nearly everything in the room and pushing a thick layer of toxic smoke downward. A few seconds later, flashover occurs. Everything in the room erupts in flames. The temperature is now well over 1,500 degrees. And remember, all this has happened in less than two minutes. Firefighters now attack the flames with a high-pressure fire hose as dense, churning smoke erupts out of the structure. The room and its contents are completely destroyed. The scene is one of total devastation. Now we're going to repeat the process on the room fitted with the fire sprinkler. Ignition takes place. Shortly, the flames are visible and begin consuming the curtain. At 30 seconds, the smoke alarm sounds. 15 seconds later, when the temperature at the ceiling reaches 165 degrees, the sprinkler activates. Almost instantly, the flames are extinguished and the room begins to fill with smoke and steam. The aftermath lies in stark contrast to the unsprinklered room. Even the curtain remains intact. And water damage is minimal compared to the massive amount of water delivered by the fire hose. The evidence speaks for itself. Utter and complete destruction versus minor damage. Even more important is what impact sprinklers would have on the lives of those living in a structure like this. For more information on the compelling benefits of home fire sprinklers, visit homefiresprinkler.org.